Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. We're going pheasant hunting. Man, I haven't been pheasant hunting probably, uh, just to be honest, probably for four years. I bet it's been every bit of four years. Your boy has been busy on his waterfowl game. So, I mean, can't blame me, right? We've been doing a lot of waterfowl hunting. Been doing a lot of duck and goose hunting. I know you guys have really enjoyed it. But it's time to mix it up a little bit. We're going to be doing some different videos here and there now, guys. Going to be doing this, some squirrel hunting, some rabbit hunting, and a lot of coyote hunting to come. I'm really excited about it. But today I am really, really excited. Today we're going pheasant hunting with Wade, uh, Joe, Adam, and Nick. So there will be five of us walking a field. So there's only one thing I am concerned with, and that is the head mount. I'll be wearing the GoPro on the hat. But I hope I have it going, meaning I hope I have it recording at the right times because you know them pheasants, they jump up out of nowhere and I don't know how easy it's going to be to have the camera on and going. I've never filmed a pheasant hunt, so bear with me on this one guys, I hope it turns out good for y'all. Oh, but look at some of my new goodies, I just got a new lay down blind. Oh, and what's that? Got a panel blind? Oh, and what's that? I already used it once. Another panel blind. Yep, your boy had to invest in some new blindages. So, the panel blinds, I've used them once, and I love them. And I know you guys will be asking, and I know it is very interesting, but this is what I'm going to use today. It's the Fiaci Golden Pheasant Loads. Uh, they are 1,485 feet per second, an ounce and 3 8 6 shot. So... I've used these uh, during the summer, and uh, they were, they were, they hit hard. Just put it that way. I gotta run by Walmart, see if they have a vest in my size. If they don't, well. But without further ado, let's get on the row ad, shall we? Well, just left Walmart, and this is all they had. Just the old dollar, dollar package vest. Doesn't have a rear uh, pocket on it to put your birds in or anything. They're out of darn near and everything. Christmas is almost on us. And let me tell you, that place was already busy at six in the morning. What the heck? But I am excited. Um, it, it, I am excited, guys. I gotta, I gotta warn you a little bit. I'm gonna be trying up. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna be trying some different videos. Coyote hunting will be coming. You better be waiting for that. I, I am ready for that. Um, but we're gonna get into some smaller duck hunting. Uh, still gonna do the big goose hunts. But I just want to mix it up for y'all. I feel like uh, a lot of you guys have been requesting some different types of videos lately. And that's what we're going to do. I, I enjoy doing stuff different. Just like my magnet fishing videos over the summer. A lot of you guys loved those. So um, cannot wait to get back into those as well. So just going to start mixing it up a bit. You know, we're getting into January. The, the waterfowl season is going to start slowing down eventually. Which is very sad. But at the same time, I do want to do some different videos here and there. So I hope you guys are excited for that. If you guys are excited about me doing some different videos, or if you have a different type of video suggestion just like this, pheasant hunting, drop a comment down below and let me know what it is. Huh? First pheasant hunt action here. Old Nick, he's done a, he's filmed a pheasant hunt on his head like the old GoPro, and he said, man, you just gotta leave it running, so. So what we're gonna do, hopefully it don't die before we kill something here. I'm taking the, the ride in, there's five of us, got the dog in the middle with Wade over yonder. We're just gonna let him have it. Hopefully we have some luck here, boys. It has been so long since I have pheasant hunted. I mean, a long, long time. I'm waiting for a cubby to cubby of quail just to scare the living bejesus out of me. Well, just had to kick the camera back on. We see saw one get up up ahead here. Haven't jumped one up yet. Not close enough. Only seen one though so far, but we're getting into some thicker stuff here, so man, they're getting up way ahead of us. Yikes. They're getting up way ahead. Yeah, we're spooking up. Yeah, there's two that going down. Yeah. Another one right here. Right there, right there. Hen. First one spooked up close. That was a hen. Well, we're 
getting to about half mile line here. The only ones we scared up have been way ahead of us. That's what we're afraid of. It's not like bitter cold, no snow on the ground. So they're getting up pretty far out ahead of us. Oh yeah, we're flushing them up way out there. There's two more. Huh. Game plan, me and Nick got elected to walk down here on top of this hill, as you can see. We left the three other guys down yonder and they're gonna be blockers. I think that's the only way we're gonna kill these birds is uh, have two guys on foot pushing and then have as many guys you can at the end blocking them as they fly towards them. So that is the game plan. Man, these birds should be right here. We should be in the pit, in the armpit of the pheasant veal. Man, we should be right on them, literally right on them. Oh, well, we're getting close to our blockers now. This is where you got to be real careful with your shooting. Always know exactly where your blockers are. They should be right in here. We have not spooked up one. We watched 10 of them in here just now land. Glasses are starting to fog up. I'm getting hot. Whew. I wore too many clothes. How did one bird get up? What the hell? That didn't work. Now we're headed back in another strip. Maybe this is why I haven't pheasant hunted in a while. Kansas used to be really good, but now we had a big drought years back and it really messed them up pretty bad. Well, field number two um, took us a little water break, got us a swig, and uh, it's a lot of different terrain over here. A lot of hills. Not saying the hills will help, but I'm hoping so. We haven't even shot a gun yet. Man, man, that's <laughs> got my heart going on that bad boy. Yeah, see, like I just said, them hens, they are waiting to get up. Them roosters are running. Boy, howdy, that got my blood going. I walked my butt off. Oh. oh, one of them just shot down there. Looks like it. Looks like he's picking up. Yep, he got Adam got one. Looks like Adam got one. Heck yeah, Adam's got one on the board down there. Well, not gonna have a goose egg. That's good. Well, me and Joe, we both got cut off up here on the hill. Got cut off by all that. There's no way we're walking in all that. The other three went around the side and they've shot probably six times just now. Saw one rooster get away. We went the wrong way, that's for sure. Because there sounds like they're getting into them. Well, Nick and Adam got into them. Nick got one and Adam shot three. Uh, that's where we got split up back there and they got into them. So. So there should be still one rooster in this patch. We're gonna walk back to the truck. Hopefully the GoPro don't die and hopefully I can shoot something here. But at least we're on the board. Hi Storm. Look at her, she's having fun. Get him Storm, get him. Where they at, get the bird. Oh, they're getting up down. They're spooking them up down there. They missed that one too, another rooster. I ain't got nothing up here on the hill. There's some, they're getting into them down there though. Well, here's the road again. Goodness. Not one shot off for Bob. Luckily, they got into them though. Oh, well, I think we're going to call it. Your boy did not get anything, but Adam got three. Nick got one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, them are nice. <laughs> Nick got the small guy here. Look at the ones Adam got. Look at how long these darn tails are. There were some studs. Goodness. Well, I'm back home here and let me tell you what, it was so nice just doing something different for a change. You know me, you know your boy has been getting at them ducks and geese literally non-stop. And if I'm not hunting them, I'm scouting them. And if I'm not scouting them, I'm filming them. But you know me, I am a waterfowl addict, a shotgun shooter, a wing shooter at heart. And pheasant hunting, even though I didn't get to even pull the trigger, 
It was fun get putting the miles in. I think I think all in all we put in like five miles in, which a lot of people put in like ten in a morning or a day. But you know, you know me. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna go walk in. 10 miles. 5 miles was plenty, especially because your boy had too many clothes on. Yeah, I had way too many layers on. The high today is like 45, 48 degrees, so it's not like it's really cold. But we only ended up hunting uh, one section in general, and the, that section had strips cut in it. Strips and strips and strips and strips, so that's what we kept doing. We'd walk a half mile, turn around, walk a half mile back on the other strip walk a half mile on another strip, walk a half mile on another strip. Each strip, I'm guessing, was probably roughly 100 to, I don't know, 150 yards wide at most. Seemed like, though, the better luck came is when we got into those hills. Adam, Nick, and Wade went around the bottom side of the hill on the south side, and that's where they really got into it. Me and Joe went kind of up tried to see if there was any on top of that hill, and then quickly understood that the backside of the hill was completely full of plum thickets, which you couldn't get through. So we got cut off pretty bad. But guys, but, 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 I know it wasn't the most high energy, intense shooting, most just bang em up video in the world. Your boy did not even get to pull the trigger, but I'm hoping that you guys really respect and enjoyed the fact that I got out and I went pheasant hunting because you know me, I am a duck hunting addict. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be getting in some really good duck hunting coming up. We're going to be using the 410 for some rabbit hunting. Be looking out for that and be expecting some coyote videos coming your way. But, as you can hear them, above my house, the snows are coming back. We just got rid of the snows for about a week and we just got a cold front and yeah, they're coming back. So, you know me, I'm going to be chasing them devils. But I thank you guys for being here. Make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys want me to do. What you, what different videos you want me to do. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We're going to be doing a lot of different hunting like I've said probably 10 times in this video. But thank you all for being here. We will see you on the next one. Peace.